two powerful ways on how to open and decalcify your pineal gland. Now, your pineal gland is a gland in the center of your head. The ancient Egyptians referred to it as the eye of Horus, the all-seeing eye. Now, this is what a calcified pineal gland looks like. If you look at the work of Jacob Liberman, who wrote a book called Light, the Medicine of the Future, he's one of the leading experts in light and eyes, and he explains that your pineal gland is a literal eye because it's hollow in nature. It's got color receptors. This is why it is called your third eye. He also explains that the average size of a pineal gland today is around the size of a raisin, and that thousands of years ago, it used to be the size of a human eye. So as you decalcify and start to open it up again, it goes on this process of regrowing. And this is when you start to get all of the benefits of an activated pineal gland. So what are the two ways that you can help with this process? The first thing that you can do is to activate your heart center. Now your heart center produces the strongest electromagnetic frequency in your body and your pineal gland responds to electromagnetic frequency. So as your heart center becomes more activated, your pineal gland starts to regrow again. How do we do this? We learn to maneuver our awareness from our mind and into our heart and also to release any trauma in the past that may have caused us to close it in the first place. The second thing that we can do in order to decalcify it is to let go of fluoride. Fluoride is what does this and fluoride is found in your main water supply and your toothpaste. So what you need to do is you need to have a filtration system for your water. If you can't afford this, then the next best thing is to get some lemon and lime and squeeze it into your drinking water. Now I know lemon and lime is acidic, but as it goes into your water and you drink it and it goes into your body, it becomes very alkaline, which helps counteract this. You also need to buy non-fluoride toothpaste.